Hey, my name is Wes and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss something very interesting that has been bothering a lot of DJs that have been using live streaming. Uh, it's the question about track information, that they cannot get their track info displayed in OBS or other streaming software. So I've discovered a plugin on GitHub that will make it possible to use Kufo to transmit your track information to OBS. And by using Kufo, you're actually just helping the already ecosystem you're in. For those that don't know Kufo, Kufo is the platform that was been created by Pioneer DJ to share the track information of DJs that are playing in clubs. So you only need a few things. One is your Kufo playlist that's been displayed on the website. The second is CSS code that's been pasted into uh, OBS and then you're done. Easy as that. So let's check the video to see what you have to do to get it working. So the first thing you do is go to the website on GitHub and type in this URL. Uh, once you've done that, head over to code and add code, download the zip file. You can use Google Translate uh, to get the instructions in English or another language. And as displayed here, is you need to create a Kufo account and then use the live playlist function. So when you get to record box, uh, click on the Kufo icon to start the live stream of your playlist. That will generate a URL on the Kufo website, which you will need for later on. Make sure you have a track playing as test so that the live playlist can show the track you're playing. So you head over to the, to the link of the live playlist by clicking on the button displayed in the pop-up. And as shown on the website, green will mean that the track is currently playing and it will give the title name and the artist name along with the time. So then you head over to OBS and you click on the plus sign in sources and then choose browser. There you add the URL from the playlist The website will have some extra information as well regarding which CSS code to use. So you have a, if you have a width of less than 600, you use the one with SP before the dot CSS. And if not, you just use the regular one. Once you head over to the downloaded file, unzip it and open uh, the dot uh, the CSS file with a text editor. There you just select all the text and copy it. Then head back to OBS and paste the text in the custom CSS section. Once you press OK, the plugin is ready to be used. Okay, to test out the plugin, Make sure you have a track that's playing. Here I'm using a test scene to uh, display what I'll see. Once you've added the source, you can move it anywhere you want to display it. You'll notice that by default, Long titles will be cut off. So to make sure that long titles don't get cut off, put the width at at least 1920. The plugin will refresh and then you'll see the full title name. While testing out this feature, 
Make sure that you don't play a track for longer than 30 seconds or Recordbox will register this as a played track. Once you press the Kufa button again, it will stop the transmission of your playlist. So for all the record bots you saw their live streaming, I hope you find this very useful. And I look forward to visiting your streams and see which tracks you're playing so uh, we can spread the love. Uh, you also have the option to not share that information if you have that special edit or remix that you don't want to share like back in the days when we covered the final. It's all good, but sometimes we have to support the artists and when people know who the artist is, they'll play their track more or perhaps even buy their music. On the GitHub page, a few things were mentioned in the frequent asked questions. Uh, the artwork that isn't always displayed, uh, that's more on the side of Kufo that doesn't recognize uh, the track song uh, and links it with the artwork. And the other is that uh, the song doesn't always get displayed right away, um, but that's also a restriction from Kufo, uh, according to Masu. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen too often. I've been able to test it uh, from using the laptop only and with my DJ controller. I haven't exactly checked it out with the S11 yet, but I suspect that the behavior will be the same. Uh, during my use, I did notice that uh, record box was a little bit more slow uh, but I don't know if that's related to other things had running at the background or just specifically uh, this use of Kuvo with my old Mac. To send out a shout out to Masu who's made it possible to use this method to get the track information uh, on live streams so please give Masu a shout out on his Twitter account I'll post the link in the video and in the description so thank you for watching this video and uh, I hope that you enjoyed it and found it useful. Apologies for the, the sloppy editing. I'm a rookie in the game, working on a small laptop and uh, trying to make the best of it. But hopefully, as time goes by, I'll, uh, I'll improve and uh, provide you with uh, better quality videos.